What does a pig bladder have to do with regrowing human hair? Well, it's a connection that has given Texans with moderate hair loss hope. Here's a look at a new one hour medical procedure that has shown in its early stages to patch up thinning hair. I just want my hair thicker, at least at the top. And so if they can give me any kind of hope, you know, um, I know times are changing. They're always coming up with something and I just I I kept looking at this. And I just, I feel like this is for me. Angela Sovereign is about to undergo an hour long hair regrowth procedure that uses her own blood and a pig bladder that's been refined into a powder. Just reduce some blood out of your arm and we do just enough so that when we spin that blood down, which we're doing in the other room in the centrifuge, that's going to give us a nice separation of the blood and the plasma. Dr. Dan McGrath is one of just a handful of Texas doctors performing what's called a cell hair restoration. The process combines a patient's blood plasma that's rich in stem cells with the FDA approved powder. The powder is already widely used in the medical community for tissue regrowth and wound healing. The idea is that the mixture will activate stem cells already present in scalp tissue promoting hair growth. Dr. Anthony Bissett is considered an expert in wound healing. He's the director of facial plastic surgery at the Baylor College of Medicine. The evidence is still coming. Um, this is a, um, a technique and um, a, a technology that is just on the horizon and is just really being popularized in the use of hair rescue and hair restoration over the past two to three years. For Angela, it is a last resort when all other options have failed. I have a home laser that you would see in doctor's offices. Um, I've, um, you know, I've been to various uh, hair clubs all over the place. Um, you know, I've any kind of shampoos, treatments, um, some that's supposed to be some kind of stem cell lotions, drops, and you name it, I've tried it. Once Angela's head is numb using local anesthesia, the powder and plasma combination is injected into her scalp. Then a vibrating instrument equipped with tiny needles is used. Now this is the, really the key component, and this is the microneedling of the scalp. You have to have trauma, so this creates micro trauma to the area that we treat. The trauma, Dr. McGrath says, is necessary to activate stem cells and the wound healing powder. Angela, meantime, says she hasn't felt a thing, except for the needle that delivered the numbing agent. One hour later, she's out the door and shouldn't need another treatment for up to three years. So what's Dr. Brissett's take? I think for patients that have exhausted all of their other options and are still bothered by their hair loss um, and or hair density, then a cell or platelet rich plasma offers an, an additional treatment modality that can perhaps minimize the extent of the loss. The A-cell hair restoration is considered a short to midterm solution for patients with thinning hair. Those who have suffered significant hair loss would need to look into hair replacement surgery instead. The cost for A-cell patients ranges from $2,500 to $3,500 a treatment.